Hey, Brian, thanks for joining me on the Zoom call this afternoon and just being a part of our, our church service in different living rooms and dining rooms and offices. Let's talk a little about even four or five years ago before you got to Vintage Grace. What was life like leading up to 2016? Well, um, I think life was normal, good. I had family, two children. I was a, a corporal in the city of Folsom as a police officer. Things were things seemed to be going well. Uh, October 22nd, 2016, I'm on a call for service, and a, a DUI driver pulled in front of me and hit me head on. Kind of altered altered my career. It, it definitely pulled the rug out from underneath me. Now let's fast forward a couple of years. You've got a guy doing some work at your house. Um, tell me about Grant. I bought a solar hot water heater, and he was the actual contractor that actually uh, installed it for me. We knew Grant was a good guy. I didn't know yeah. how good he was until actually going through this project. What stuck out about Grant to you through the highs and the lows of just normal home construction? Well, Grant, he... There was difficulties, you know, every construction project has difficulties and no matter what difficulties that he had, he was always had a smile on his face. He always was going to, knew that he was going to get through it. You know, every time uh, after the install, I had some issues. He was happy to talk to me, you know, happy to, to do what's right. Throughout all the time, he would say, you know, my church, I, mean, I have a bunch of guys, good guys at my church. And so I kind of put two and two together that his life revol revolved around his church. Yeah. And so, and so you were connecting joy and church together, which I love as a vintage guy. So did he invite you to church? How did you end up at Vintage Grace that first Sunday? After my collision and I had started my own business and I was kind of, you know, I'm definitely lost, you know, kind of probably going through a, a little depression. Yeah. And so, I, you know, and it, I just clicked on me because I saw Grant, you know, in, in my business. Yeah. And again, it was just the happy go lucky, you know, type yeah. thing. And, and just, I, I texted him one day and said, Hey, what church do you go to? And he, his text was actually funny. It wasn't Vintage Grace, it was um, our Victory Garage or something like that. He came back. Okay. But, but do we, yeah. do we, preach over working on cars or something like that. Yeah. Good old auto correct, right? Yeah, it was auto correct. And so and then I know he clarified what, what was your first experience like? I intentionally avoided everybody. You know, it's, uh -huh. it was you know, I wanted to scope it out. I wanted to vet it. Everyone's saying, as you're hearing the message, well what were you I hearing? Just, I just, God is good. And it just the tears came down my eyes, and it was just, "What are you doing, Brian?" It's just, it was like you're crying in front of strangers, and it was, it was just a overwhelm of joy, and other emotions, and it's just a, a better path. It's um, it's made me happier, even though I'm crying. You know, it's it's yeah. made me happier. You know, yeah. I, I've had through my career, I've had several surgeries and next surgery and stuff and you know you always look at the finite thing but then the end of the black tape as you say is 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 finite but then you have the internal life that is infinite if i look at it at, at, at that fraction of the time where i'm literally bleeding and i'm being transported to the ambulance and my wife's coming you know it's it, it's scary as it's scary it's very scary you know and and but now looking back on it i i'm not sure i would be where i'm at if that event didn't happen i'm not sure if i wouldn't have you know found salvation amen and so today easter sunday uh just like grant just like mary just like thomas and peter and john brian and i testify to the goodness of god the grace of god and the fact that he is redeeming and using all things for not just his glory, but also for your good. And so, brother, thank you for sharing, uh, for pointing us towards him and for telling us about how you've seen and experienced. And thanks for committing to being like Grant to other people. Um, thanks for being the living proof of our loving God, man. Yeah, thank you.